Hi and welcome! In this video, I have six Christmas ornaments and two Christmas DIYs, all made with Chalk Couture Christmas Minis. I hope that you got your kit so you can craft along with me in this video. And I am a Chalk Couture designer, so I will have my link down below if you want to purchase anything Chalk Couture. Now let's get to those DIYs. So here are the items that you will need to do this craft. These are the minis that I was talking about and the paint set, the singles. You want this uh, tool to be able to spread the paste and then you can buy these online. There's just the little discs and of course a fuzzing mat. So instead of using the discs, I have been wanting to make some ornaments out of the little wood rounds um, and I finally found some for an inexpensive price on Amazon. I'll have that link below, but they're perfect size for each of the minis. So I'm just cut all of them out individually so they're easier to work with on each of the rounds. And here I'm just trying to figure out which one would fit each of the rounds because the rounds are each different sizes and so are the little pictures. So you don't want them to like overflow on the sides. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. So now I have them all matched up to which ones I want on which disc and they turned out really cute on each of those. And so here now I'm going to paint each base um, a different color. I'm using red and white so um, I'm just covering you know pretty much all of it except for a thin line with each of the colors. So here is the red and I can't remember the color name but I will have that in my description box and it's folk art chalk paint. And you can also use the ink from Chalk Couture for these as well. And the white paint that I'm using is Rust-Oleum uh, chalk paint in linen white. It's one of my favorites because it covers really well and it, it goes on really smooth. So it pops everything out really well. So now that those are all painted, I am using the white uh, ink. Well, this one is paste, but you would want to use ink for permanent. And the paste you can wash off and reuse things. Um, they use that for their bases that they sell. But you want to fuzz the transfer at least three to five times to get a good, um, so it doesn't stick to the, the paint that is already there but sticks enough. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get it so that it's even all the way around. And then you wanna press down on it so it's all down onto the base so that it stays and nothing lifts up. So now you put just, you know, you wanna kinda of generously do it at first to get it all into the grooves of the transfer, but then you wanna scrape off the excess if that makes sense. So here I'm just scraping that excess off so that it's even and everything spread out perfectly. And then you peel it off slowly. And it looked like there was still some pieces missing so I went in and filled in a little bit more. Which is nice, you can kind of lay it back down if you need to so that you can get those spaces. But once you rip it completely off, it's gonna be hard to put it back on to where it was. And there we go. And I just had a little bit, I think I did a little too much there, so I was just fixing it. And there it is. This video is a Chalk With Me collaboration with a few other friends of mine that are YouTubers and they are also Chalk Couture designers just like I am. And we decided to get together to do this playlist for you to show you all the wonderful things that you can do with Chalk Couture. They have so many other items that you can craft with that 
are so cute, especially for the holidays. So many cute things for Christmas. And as you can see here, they have the pieces to paint on as well um, so that you have everything you need. So if you are interested in anything Chalk Couture, make sure to check my link down below. And if you have any questions, please either comment below or email me and I can definitely try to help you with that. Now let's get back to the video. So here we are again, just uh, fuzzing the transfer again, just showing you at least three to five times so it won't stick to the paint and just placing it onto the ornament and making sure it's straight and pressing it down all make sure it's all on there and then just putting the paste on now you can use different colors um i was just thinking this should be white since it's a snowman <laughs> and then here's another one where i'm going to do a few different colors i did start off doing silver on it on the um, word or on the middle part I believe of the candle um, for the bright it's I think calm and bright and um, then I did you know certain parts of it white and then I did some gold so you can do different colors you just have to have the right tools to get into those little areas of course bigger spots are going to be easier to do for this one, I decided to do an ombre effect. I did meadow green on the top word and then half of the top middle word. And then on the bottom, I did candy apple on the bottom word and bottom of the middle word. And it turned out so pretty. And I always scrape back the paste or the ink back into the container to save it. <laughs> and look how cute. It turned out really pretty. So then I tried to do different colors on this one, but it didn't work out. So I ended up just doing all red on the bottom with the sleigh and then green on the presents and red on the bow. For some reason, I wasn't doing it right. So this is how it turned out. Still pretty. And then this one, I did just the red in the middle and then red for the berries. And then, since it's like a mistletoe look, I did the green for the, the leaves. And after each one uh, use, you have to rinse these off with some lukewarm water and try not to stretch them because then they won't work again. So here I'm showing you how easy it is on their surfaces to, to prepare it. It turns out super cute. And here we are. Look how cute they look on my little tree. I ended up only doing six of them, um, but it still turned out so cute. But wait, there's more. I have two more projects for you using the Chalk Couture Minis. So one of the projects I'm doing is I found this uh, chalkboard at Dollar Tree, and it's a cute little surface for this. And I'm using two of the the minis one is the sleigh with the presents in it like i showed you on the other um, ornament and then the other mini is jingle all the way so i just used jingle all the way at the top and then it has two bells and i believe like mistletoe that i put on each side of the sign so i think it turned out pretty cute just really versatile that you can use 